Hello there, and a heartfelt welcome to you. My name is John. And today we are at the Lynx at Lachlan Bay. This is a fine course, and I think we're in fine company. So let's get down to that first tee now and see what you can do. Let's go. Okay, Lynx at Lachlan Bay, one of the highest rated courses on TGC 2019. Uh, it's supposed to be absolutely stunning. Uh, members back tees, so it's long but not silly long. Uh, fairways are firm, greens are fast. Let's see what it's like. Be a bit right. It's quite the smash there. Just a hair. So since we last played, my tailor-made driver broke. I noticed that the shaft was all splintered down by the head, which probably explains why. I've been getting so many random numbers off the sky track. And from here, we're right around 170 yards out. So I've gone back to my old tailor-made 200 steel, which by today's standards is absolutely prehistoric, a little tiny head. But when you hit it well out the middle, like I did there, it still goes as far as the modern day drivers, maybe 10 yards different. It's only when you don't, when you slightly miss hit it, that it doesn't go as well as the, the new drivers that are around today. Right, 171, so I'm going to get a 5 iron. Felt pretty solid. Oh, carry. Oof. Lucky and unlucky, I'd say. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. Okay, huge break on this. I've slowly learned that on fast greens across a big slope like that you basically almost can't you can't borrow enough really as long as you get your pace right And it looked a crazy amount of break, didn't it? <clears throat> Even par after the first hole. Okay, hole number two. Let's see what you can do here. Okay. Long par four. I'm playing this course completely blind, by the way. I've never played it. All right. Nice. All right, we're about uh, 210 yards out, I'd say, from here. That's a long way. That's going to be hybrid. It's also uphill quite a lot. Front bunkers look in favour, I think. <clears throat> I felt pretty solid. A 
Hold on. Okay, little nine iron shift and run here, I think. A little bit from the left. Nineteen yards. Slightly uphill. Yeah. I didn't quite strike it as convincingly as I wanted. Okay, let's see if you can save par here. Okay, there's not a lot in this, just that a hair from the right. You've got to be thinking that if you hit this hard enough. If you hit this hard enough, it should go in. 12 feet uphill. Certainly hard enough. We better hit the hole. Oh man! Oh god! It went left to right. I didn't see that. I did not see that. And that'll keep you at one over for the round. Pity. And uh, what is this? Hole number three. This looks a nice hole. 180 yards, quite a long way as well. Okay, I'm going to hit five iron. Hit that really good. Oh, be right. A great golf shot. Sweet. Putting from around 16 feet out. Again, can't see much happening here, but I thought that on the last one. I'm just going to hit it straight and firm again. Just not reading them. A little bit of subtle breaks in these greens. And for the par. Okay, that's got to be dead straight, hasn't it? Solid stroke there. Good job. Pity. It's a great shot in there. All right. One over for the round. Okay. Part five. You know what? I think this is the first blind tee shot that I can ever remember on TGC 2019. Well, it also looks like we're heading out to the ocean. Okay, par five. Let's see if we can get that shot back. Hit that well. No, it didn't feel like a cut.
So he felt better than that. Okay, you are deep, deep in the rough here. Yeah, it's going to nudge a five iron down there, leave myself a nice full shot. Great contact. Should me leave me like a nine iron or something. Pitching wedge. All right, we're right around 125 yards out. Okay, need to hit this well. It's a half. It's pushed it a fraction. Ooh, it looks like you're going to be a pattern. Fraction. Spin. Okay, you're on the green now. Okay, 11 footer here. This is definitely makeable. Thought that on the last two. Again, can't see too much in that. Okay, 11 feet uphill. This one's tracking towards the hole. Great pod in there for birdie. That hole's brought you down to even par. Nice bird on that last hole. Let's see another one. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, long par four. This looks like a potential disaster hole. Oh, mind you, no. The water's nowhere near the green. That's looking nice off the tee. All right, uh, we're right around 165 yards out. Oh yeah, lovely hole. Semi blind. Six iron, I think. Sima. Just pulled it a fraction, which, as you know, mean, usually means you just hit it that little bit further. Okay. Little 
all 99 chip and run again. Uphill, 15 yards. And after that hole, you've been brought down to even par. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell do we do here? That's, that's a big carry me with this driver oh that is hard to know what to do really maybe I just hit this as hard as I can hit it well it should make it it's just with this driver if you don't quite middle it this one's going the towards the drink carry. the longer carry oh what a shame. What a shame. Is it good? Just pushed it. Just pushed it, and then that carry was just a bit further. If I hit it on the line, it would have made it. Now okay. that was a swing. Damage limitation now. Got to try and get out of here with a bogey somehow. Like there's much slope on the green, 44 yards. Bike. Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. Okay, I think if you just hit this firm left half, it should go in. Solid putt for the bogey. I'm glad you made that. Did well to come out of there with a bogey in the end. Great golf hole. Though. Sitting Great at hole. one over for the round. Okay, this is hole number seven on the tee. Let's do this. Well, first few holes felt quite partland. 
Whereas this now is definitely feeling very linksy with the ocean on the left. Par five, a short one. So get the tee shot away and presents a great birdie opportunity. This could be in the rough. Kick left. Kick left. Come on. Round you come. That's not too bad. Semi rough's not too bad. Couldn't dice with the left hand side in the ocean. Okay, the ball's sitting above your feet. That's going to make it go a little more left than usual. So you might want to compensate. Okay, so we'll aim off to the right a bit. Gonna need a hybrid coming out of the light rough. Hit it okay. But certainly wasn't my country best. Go on, big bounce, go on. That's done okay. Can't can't complain with that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was it was solid, but it wasn't. Maybe I didn't want to absolutely nail it. Okay, there's not a lot of breaks in these greens again. They're very subtle. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna chip this with my lob wedge. Ten yards. That felt quite nice. Okay, after that one, you're going to go down to even par. Okay, we are well above the green from here. You might need a little less club on there. Okay. i say that's a pitching wedge. Just a nice pitching wedge. Be disappointed with that with just a wedge in your hand. I'll tell you what, everybody ends up here sometimes. Uh, take this uh, as a learning opportunity. A little bit from the right. Literally just need to just flop this out, let it release a little bit. like that. Very straightforward that. And that hole's going to bring it down to even par. And we have the ninth hole coming up. Okay, short. Par four. Don't see any point in hitting driver, to be honest. I've not inputted all my clubs right, but I'm going to hit my my hybrid. My kind of 
three hybrid. Not what? Not sure what loft this got. About 19 degrees or something. All right. Great contact. Nice swing. All that was needed, just a nice smooth one down the middle. Looking at 125 yards ish to the pin here. Wow, how big is this green? Is it, is it a double? I think it's a double green with another hole. That's pretty cool. Okay, pitching wedge. Right. Nice. Here we go. This putt for the bird. Okay. I think that's going to turn half a hole from the right. 13 feet downhill. Hold your head. Nice. Very solid round after nine, looking fantastic. Okay, par five here. Okay, 601, so. And a bit of a dog leg. Great driver, this tailor-made 200 steel, you know. Nice. I mean, it's, it's really old. I think the the biggest thing with it is it's just its head is so small. It's not, you know, there's three woods that are not far off the same head size now. But it's got a great feel off the face when you hit it well. And you get a good low flight off it. Okay, so just need to lay up a good yardage here now. So three twenty three. Yeah, so I'm there four iron, which will leave me a leave me a full. A full wedge or a nine iron in, something like that. Nice swing. Swinging it well today. A bit further than I thought. All right, looking at 150 yards ish. Is that 150 yards? 
book, 150 yards. Oh well, you've got to trust that it is 150 yards. Okay, I'm going to hit, uh, what am I going to hit? I'm going to hit eight iron, it's slightly downhill. Be a little bit short well, to the pin, anyway. Yeah, it was a nice shot. Nice, Sol solid, but not right out the screws. Thirty-one feet to the hole. And break up the hill. 31 feet. No, not that much. Get up. It's slow going up that hill. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Wow. And that hole will keep you at even par. Oh dear, what a shame. Par four here. Let's have a nice clean drive. Okay. Quite a long par four as well. Wow, powerful stuff, my friend. Okay, looks like we have around 155 yards to go. It's uphill, so with all that all that gunk in front of the green there, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit an easy six iron. Looks like it does all come in from the No I'm not, I'm at seven iron. The carry the carry to the front edge of the green is not much so okay lovely hole again Big bounce.
Okay, one under for the round. All right, nice clean swing and drop it on the green. Okay, huge green again. Downhill a lot, isn't it? I mean, for that yardage, I was normally at a five iron, but I'm thinking downhill. A six iron hit well. Pitching around the front of the green is probably going to release out to the flag. There's not a great deal of room down there. Definitely the right club. And this putt for the birdie. Ever slightly downhill, they tend to just break that little bit more. You get the pace right on this. Way up. Perfect. That was absolutely fine putting. And after that hole, you'll go down to 200. Nice solid birdie on that last hole. We got another birdie in the works here. Okay. Only 365 yards, but there's not a lot. There's not a lot of trouble down there, so I'm going to hit the driver. Look at that thing fly. Just screaming. I'm getting more confident with this driver the more I hit it. Just got a lovely balance to it. Okay, ninety six yards. Not my best. Not sure whether it's up. Oh, this it is, is looking decent. It is. Oh, well, I got that wrong. It just felt like I just didn't quite just squeeze it on the club face, but. And after that one, you've brought your score down to three under. Jump on the birdie train. And now we find ourselves on hole number 14. Oh, it's the first iffy one I've hit. 
Yeah. Oh boy, sit down. Yeah, just didn't quite get that one. Ooh. Now then, what to do now? I'll just take my medicine, I think. Yeah, for sure. No shot on here other than to just pitch it back out into the fairway. Solid swing. All right, and we are back in the fairway. Good to see. And it looks like we have 100 yards to the pin. Yeah, this is a good yardage. I'm trying to give myself a putt. It's uphill, so I will need to hit this pretty good. back there. That gives me a par putt. I feel like I've got good control of my distances today. Putting from around 16 feet out. Okay, it's going to turn just at the end, I think. Sure, we get it to the hole. Certainly not short. Great putt in there for par. It was traveling. Three under for the round. Coming off a par on the last one. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, this looks a pretty straightforward hole. Just let the drive away. There we go, that's looking good. I'm gonna stick with the same plan. Just hit a four iron down there, I think. Four iron's gonna go. Oh, yeah, five iron actually. I want this five iron to go about actually two sixty. Think this through. Two sixty. Need to hit it one sixty to leave myself a good yardage. So I'll just hit a six iron. Left. All right, though. Good 
Okay, we're sitting at around 110 yards to the pin. Okay, uphill. Oh, I pulled it, I think. Oh, yeah. Terrible shot, that. Terrible. Okay, this is kind of a struggle for power all of a sudden. Okay, 9 iron chip and run. Let's try and get it on the green and run in. 24 yards. It's got to be downhill, hasn't it? Oh, only slightly. There's a lot more turn from the right than I thought. Still played it pretty well. Let's see if we can save par here. That would be nice. Not a lot going on there, is there? I don't think. I think as long as we hit this hard enough, it should go in. It's uphill. Nice putt. We're in the hole. Good stuff. And it looks here like that'll keep you right there at 300. Okay, let's see what happens here on this par four. Let's go ahead and drop this one into the fairway and take it from there. Okay. Suppose we may as well just hit driver down there. The T pegs I've got for. The right height for this driver are dark blue. It's difficult to see them. Solid swing. You know what, I think I'm going to keep this driver in the bag. I've actually ordered a new tailor-made driver shaft. Uh, but I may not, I may not use it. That, that driver just feels so well balanced and well suited for me. If you can hit it 300 yards like that, okay, so 14 yards uphill, again a little chip and run. Could go in, great effort. 
striking those little chip shots really nicely. And after that, you're bringing things down to four under par. Nice bird on that last hole. Let's see another one. Oh, lovely par three here. Oof. Look at this. It's only 118 yards. But what a backdrop. Okay, so just a wedge. Love the course, by the way. Absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be playing this one with uh, with friends on simulator nights in the winter for sure. That felt really nice. This could be good. Oh, it's downhill, isn't it? Forgot about the fact that we were going downhill. Oh, Very nice. A, if I'd hit that same shot with my sand iron, it would have been good. And if this drops, you'll get your birdie here. That's a shame, but never mind. It was a good shot. Okay, it's coming from the right early on. And it's going to be pretty straight after that, I think. But to be honest, just looking for a two put here. Try and get the pace right. I think it's across that kind of distance, it always turns more than you think. Sure whether I've hit it hard enough. Get in there and again. That just goes to show, doesn't it? And uh, this next putt for par. Just a hair from the right. Nice putt. We're in there. Sitting at four under for the round. Hole number 18. Oh, okay. It's only 347 yards long. End of the fairway is 300 yards away. Yeah, it's not, it's not driver, is it? It's not driver. You hit your hybrid, 220, that's going to leave about 135, which is a nice yardage. Hit that nice. This one's looking pretty good. I'd say around 105 yards or so to the pin here. Okay, just a nice sandwich. Oh, 
Oh, I might have just pulled it again. Yeah, just a little bit. Hope this one bites. I've done that with my sand wedge a few times today. It means it's just gone a bit further. Nice, ended up just fine after that shot. Hit it well. In fact, I've struck it really nicely today. I'm really pleased. All right, we're setting up 30 feet from the hole, so have fun with this. Okay, downhill. Going to turn a lot early on and then straighten out at the end, I think. Let's try and get a nice pace on it. Ooh. Bimmer. Wow, never thought it was going to go past that much. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much going on there. Solid par, well done. Four under when it's all said and done. Good job out there. All righty, thanks very much for the round. I'm heading over to the clubhouse now. We'll see you next time. So, link to Lachlan Bay. Really, really nice. Really nice course. Really enjoyed it. Definitely be playing it again and I definitely recommend that you should add it to your favourites and play it yourselves. Uh, definitely one of the best courses on TGC 2019. I'm really happy with a 68 today.